I believe one of the deepest yearnings of every human being is to be satisfied with life. And satisfaction means the contentment, the sense of fulfillment that we get as a result of how we've lived our life or how we've done something in particular. And that means that if at the end of our lives we are not contented or have that feeling of satisfaction, then it perhaps means that we have lived lower than our potentials. Studies have shown that the emotion that is most expressed by people on their deathbeds is regret. Regrets based on inaction rather than action. Many people on their deathbeds realize that there are so many things that they could have done, so many decisions they could have made, so many actions they could have taken, but have refused not to because of one reason or the other. You would realize that the last six letters of the word satisfaction is actually action, A-C-T-I-O-N. That means that in order to be satisfied with life, you must have acted in your lifetime. In other words, you must have lived to your fullest potential. As a matter of fact, the word satis, S-A-T-I-S, is a Latin word that means enough. It means that the ancient Greeks believed that what actually brings satisfaction in life is having enough action. My question to you today is, if today were your last, would you be able to say that you have had enough action in your life for you to be satisfied with life? If you cannot answer that question confidently, my quest to you today would be to start living life to the fullest. Start putting in some action instead of inaction in your life. Let your every day be based on actions rather than inaction. That's the only way you can live life and at the end of the day feel satisfied. Satisfaction comes as a result of feeling that you have done the best you could. Satisfaction comes as a result of living fully and dying empty. Satisfaction comes as a result of feeling like you have maximized your potential on earth. You have lived more. You have loved all you could. You have given everything you could in order to make a difference in this world. You must act. I was reading a book recently and the author was talking about how he went to speak somewhere and he heard a $100 note up in the air and said, who wants this $100? Almost everyone in the crowd said, I want, I want, I want, I want, and want, and there are lots of shouts of I want everywhere. However, nobody actually came to grab the $100 note until one young boy just ran out of nowhere and came to grab the $100 note. And that was the boy that took action. And he asked the question, why did all of you screaming, I want, I want, sit down and not actually come for the $100 note like the young boy did? Listen to me, that is what life is all about. You must know what you want and go all out for it. That's the only way to live a satisfied life. That is the only way to live with satisfaction. It's when you take action. Take action in your marriage. Love your spouse more. Love your children more. Take action concerning your calling. Make a difference. Let it be that you inspire other people with your life. Live a life that you can say categorically that you did all you could in order to make a difference in this world. Nobody ever became great because they did not act. Every single person that made history did because they acted, did because they did something. History making is a verb. You make history because of your actions, not as a result of your inactions. And I want to challenge you today. Start acting on your gifts. Start acting on your talents. Start acting on those very things that you are loaded and you have been taxed with here on earth. Because I believe very strongly that that is where your greatness lies. You cannot separate purpose from greatness. It is impossible for you to be great unless you are doing what you were born to do. That is the only way you can live a satisfied life. When you are sure that you are living your life based on your purpose. And with that, I've come to the end of this episode of Motor Vitality. I believe you have been inspired. If you have, I don't want you to be selfish with what you have just heard. Kindly share this message with someone and I'll see you again next week by the grace of God. God bless you. See you there.